Biologists don't think I'm a biologist. (laughs) It's only physicists that think I'm a biologist. (laughs) Biophysicists, in my opinion, and the opinion is divided in the community, in my opinion, a biophysicist is someone who uses um, techniques from both disciplines to answer questions, broader questions about the physics of life and um, how you can understand processes that lead to life in new ways by looking at them thanks to techniques developed in physics and biology particularly genetics is a big deal at the moment and it's interesting to see not just what physicists can do for geneticists because physicists have been involved in developing high throughput gene sequencing assays but also what genetics can tell us about physics so for example I can go into the lab and I can perform experiments on different kinds of organisms and I can alter the structure of these things to alter the physics by altering the genes so there are different ways there's a sort of back and forth between these two fields I think which is quite important and increasingly so. There's a lot of mathematics heavy lifting uh, in terms of computer algorithm design and these sorts of things. I do a lot of optics, I mean my my background was really in optics so I did a master's in that and went on to do a PhD in some optical tweezers studies where we use beams of light to pick things up and move them around and that's a tool that's become increasingly important in the biological sciences because you can pick up individual cells and move them around, you can do measurements on individual molecules but this is really in the realm of physics because it's quantum physics and the momentum momentum of a photon and this sort of thing that makes these techniques possible. So I I would argue there's a strong physics component, particularly from a mathematics and a classical optics point of view in what I do. The advantage that a physicist brings, particularly uh, in terms of numeracy and mathematical skill, I'm not saying that biologists are not numerate, but traditionally their focus has been on a different area. Biologists have a a big strengths in things like statistics, whereas a physicist um, gets probably a deeper mathematical insight I would say from studying things like calculus and studying things like Fourier transforms. Physicists love these things, all these sort of advanced bits of mathematical toolkit that you can bring to bear on biological problems. Um, Things like uh, signal processing techniques, looking at frequencies present in signals and this sort of thing, which is a natural part of the physicist's repertoire, but when you use this to attack biological problems you can gain new insight and look for frequencies repetitive processes and this sort of thing and it comes out very naturally from the way a physicist would consider a biological problem i think a biologist um biologists look at things from a different point of view in terms of um i think biologists tend to focus on the differences between things whereas physicists tend to focus on the similarities so i would look at a swimming microorganism and to me it doesn't matter if it's a a bacterium or an archaea or a eukaryote. I'm interested in the fluid dynamics of how it swims, and that the, the biological distinctions don't matter so much. What's interesting to me is the similarities rather than the differences, and that's not a natural thing for a biologist to do, I don't think, or not in my experience anyway.